So you're a beginner or an advanced SMMA or AI marketer, you know, and you're trying to get more clients in your agency or you're trying to get your first client in your agency and you've been struggling. So what I recommend is you copy this custom GPT that I'm going to build out and create today, okay? So we're going to have it from A to Z in marketing agencies and SMMA and AI agencies as well. We're going to program it to take the shortcuts and help us get these clients, how to automate, how to grow and scale and maybe even sell our marketing agencies, guys. So what we want to do is we want to feed the information to this custom GPT builder. So first, you're going to need ChatGPT 4 or plus. You're going to come over to Explore. We're going to click on Create a GPT. All right. And we're going to pay attention to these two tabs right here. But as you can see, I've already began. I clicked on Start an SMMA in 2003 because we want the most up-to-date information okay and we want long a long tutorial like we want in-depth uh instructions feed as much as we can possibly give to this gpt okay so let's see i'm trying to look for like tutorial type stuff okay so here we go he says as a beginner we're going to go over to this site called youtube transcript and it's going to give us the script from this video that we're going to feed into this custom GPT builder. All right. So now we're going to paste that over here. Everything needed to get clients, produce results, and automate agencies. Okay. Now, bow, we have that information on there. And this is like the matrix where we're going to plug in into the custom GPT builder and just upload as much knowledge as we possibly can. So what would you like to make? where we are going to create a custom GPT uh, that helps agency owners, hold on, new and uh, advanced agency owners get clients, produce extraordinary results uh um what do you call it automate and even sell their agencies okay all right so now it's going to create like a little logo for us agency advisor no that sucks okay so we're going to name it agency miyagi is the name Okay, that's what I'm naming mine. You name yours something different, obviously. So we're going to get this tutorial right here for how to start an AI agency from this guy, Liam Otley. And we're going to feed that into this and we're going to get the script. Okay, so this is a two hour long full course. And now we're going to plug in over here. And this is just our document that we're going to feed into the configure section of the custom GPT builder, guys. So this is where all of the knowledge is going to be derived from when people ask questions and everything. That's why you're going to be confident that your custom GPT builder, uh, your custom GPT will have like full capability to answer pretty much anything on topic of agency uh, niche. OK, so now what's the next part? The profile picture for Agency Miyagi is ready. It depicts a wise mentor-like uh, figure in a professional setting. No. No, I don't like it. Try again, please. Okay, that sucks. So while we wait for that, we're going to go and get some more, um, you know, how to start or create a freaking AI agency and SMMA agency situation. Okay, so we got a full guy from this guy, Iman Gatsi. Gonna come back over here. And we're gonna get the transcript from this video. We're gonna paste it over here. So as you can see, we're gonna have hours and hours and probably even hundreds of hours of information. And while you're building yours out, pick a day, man. 
Uh, take your time because you want to get as much information as you possibly can fed into uh, uh, the AI agency uh, tool, the, the tool, I mean. Okay, so I'm getting this one right here next. And boom. We're going to plug that in there. How to start an AI automation agency. He's another authority kind of on that. All right. Boom. And as you can see, when we come back over here, tell you the truth, if you don't want to jump all around, he has a full playlist. He positioned himself properly as the AI automation go-to guy uh, when that trend popped off. So you can pretty much just get all the knowledge that he has, Pause, if you want to. Uh, and then this is another guy that people you know, follow when it comes to starting an AI automation agency. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next step over here. Yeah, uh, try again. I don't like that. I'm not feeling that. That doesn't like really speak to me as far as if I have an agency and I, you know, agency Miyagi, tell me in the comments, like, am I tripping? Does this look like agency Miyagi? Like they just give me whatever image they can come up with. <sighs> God. Okay. We'll just go ahead with it. Whatever. Okay. It No, it needs to look more marketing guru-like, all right? So while it's doing that and trying to like simmer in, we need to go ahead and feed some more information. So where this is SMS, these are the top like agencies, but eventually you will come in here and add a, uh, you know, all the different types of agencies you can start. You know, SEO agencies, TikTok agency, all of that content. You want it to be well-versed and know all of that. You don't want it to ever reach a point where it says, hey, I don't know, you know, how to do that or something. OK. All right. So add more information. So like I said, this could, you know, if you're doing this properly and you want it to be as helpful as possible. Uh, this could take, you know, a day or two. You can have a VA doing this. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do this yourself. But the, remember, it's going to be a lot of people creating custom GPTs. If you want yours to stand out, then you need to have more than everybody else and be different than everybody else. OK, so if yours is more intuitive and is more like is more capable of being descriptive and and like just helping people. There we go. That's perfect. OK. I like that one. Let's move on. Okay, so that one's way better. See, sometimes you just gotta, you know, make these tools work. You hear me? Make them work. Crack the whip, crack the whip, crack the whip. All right, to begin, could you describe the typical challenges and questions that agency owners face? Uh, I don't feel like that. Um, Let's open another tab. I don't feel like all that. Okay. We're going to just ask GPT-4, what are 10 of the top challenges that marketing, that marketing agency owners face? Boom. All right. So I'm using GPT-4 <laughs> to program gpt the custom uh, GPT builder, like dog, like I don't feel like all of this. So leverage y'all, leverage, 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 leverage. This is called lazy growth. <laughs> okay. Uh, staying updated with marketing trends, blah, blah, blah. Managing cash flow for sure. Um, come on, speed up, speed it up, speed it up. I'm gonna speak up, I'm gonna speed it up, speed it up. Okay, delivering measurable ROIs, handling increased competition balancing quality and scale yes for sure client expectation management yes yes for sure okay this mug is going slower okay and we'll just take this information right here and we'll feed it hold on okay and what type of style should be adept at addressing? What? Okay, whatever. Let's just plug that in there. 
move on to the next part. So while it's handling all of that, uh, we're going to go over here and get some more. Get some more, baby. How to build a 12-month AI automation agency. This is supposed to be SMA. Anyway. Plug this in. So as you can see, I'm never like leaving a blank spot. You hear me? Like while it's over there doing that, I'm over here getting some more. Uh, and, but, you know, I'm making a video for y'all, but typically what you want is you want a VA doing this because, yes, this is freaking tedious, like a mug, you hear me? Like, this is not what, this is not an IP, well, if your channel is monetized, then this is an IPA if you're recording it and uploading it, but it's not an IPA as far as you trying to get clients, okay? So, <laughs> for real, for real, you know? So, we come back over here, I'll get this one. And I'm simply just plugging in as much information as I possibly can, like you want to do. Okay, don't forget to do a Muay Thai flying high knee kick Tony Ja style to the subscription button if you're new to the channel, which you probably are, if we're looking at this topic. Okay, go ahead and do that right now, or Jeet Kune Do Bruce Lee style sidekick to the subscription button. Either one would be fine and much appreciated. Okay. All right, so now what is it asking next? Ooh, come on. All right, now that we've outlined Agency Miyagi's expertise in addressing the key challenges faced by marketing agency owners, how should it interact? Friendly, blah, blah, blah. It should get to the point quickly, but still have a friendly and human like response tone okay there we go there we go you know people know they're going to be talking to a bot but you don't want them sitting there like just feeling like it like who wants to talk to something that doesn't have a soul if that's the case go talk to yourself but no nah, you got a soul <laughs> my bad go talk to a brick wall or, or something like that right all right so regarding the style uh approach to seeking clarification or filling in gaps uh, should it make assumptions? No, never make assumptions. You can simply redirect them to a, an FAQ from the internet that is current or up to date okay there we go all right ah uh, what's up what's wrong what's wrong sometimes it does this guys maybe it's because i got this other gpt open let me close it yeah i think i confused it i had the other tab open i should have closed it out okay it, be, it updated the behavior thank god thought i was gonna have to do this video open oh Okay, as a personalization, how would you like Agency Miyagi to tailor his responses? Uh, should it remember previous interactions? Yes. It should remember previous interactions and always ask if they'd like to pick up where they left off or start from the beginning. There we go. See, you want it to be as helpful as possible, y'all. This is how it works. This is how it goes. And it should show. Oh, no. Play your role. All right. <clears throat> okay, so now that behavior is updated, as you can see right there. Now the agency Miyagi's behavior is well-defined, blah, 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 is going to do all of that. Does this cover everything else? Or would you like to refine or add? We want to make sure that it always emphasizes points in the response using relatable images created by Dolly um, referencing 
uh, popular events or figures that are relevant, relevant and using metaphors and analogies. Okay, guys. So, like I said, the way that you prompt. It's always something going wrong, GPT. Come on. Come on. The way that you. What's wrong, man? The way that you prompt this stuff, it it is like, that's how you make the magic of this stuff, y'all. Okay, let me refresh it. I hope it doesn't start us all over from the beginning. Welcome back. Let's go over here and make sure everything is good. Anything you like to change? We'll put that in there. So it's updating it. So the other one was saved as a draft. Thank God. <laughs> so it has automatic saving. How do I know that? Because it... We put this in the last session. Okay, it says, thanks for the update. It's now fine-tuned to consistently do all the stuff that I just said in the last part. So now what we want to do is we want to upload the knowledge, and then we want to create actions, create a new action. So first, what we're going to do is go over uploading uh, the knowledge. So we have all of this over here. And like I said, you can come back through a little bit later and add SEO and all of the different types of agency uh, niches and stuff like that and models and all of that that it needs. So we're going to download it document right there. So it's being saved as a document, as you can see. Okay, so now we're going to come back over here. And we're going to say get clients. So hopefully it pops up. Where are we saying? Everything. There we go. There we go. Boom. All right. So I don't know why it doesn't have the conversation starters automatically over here. Should automatically have the conversation starters over here. Which, what type of agency, marketing agency, should I start okay and you can do another one what's the fastest way to get clients as you can see is appearing over here to the right uh which niche should i okay what's what's the highest paying niches you suggest to get clients, okay? How do I automate my marketing agency? Boom, so now we got four little prompts you can start with over there. Then it has you know, the knowledge and you can always come back through here a little bit later and plug that up and set up more knowledge and everything. Then you can go here and create an action. You can import actions from a URL. We got examples right here. Blank template, pet store, weather, all, all of that extra stuff, man. Like you can just plug it in. I know a lot of this is more advanced and everything. Guys, you can use the API key and all of that. You can connect Zapier. You can put schema in there as well. But we don't want to go too deep and everything. Also, don't forget to put your uh, privacy policy if you have one for your custom GPT that you're going to build or whatever. But if you're going to sell this, if you're going to sell this as a subscription, uh, don't just sell it off, sell it as a subscription model, right? Super low cost and then up low, up, uh, uh, upsell them high ticket, high price services in the same niche. Okay, so different softwares for them to do prospecting with, different softwares for them to do lead nurturing with and outreach with and all of that stuff. This will be easy for you to make money with SMMA, okay?